I am live. There's my notification. Plant. Hello there, Miss Beauty. Happy Sunday night. Hey, how's it going? Envy? How are you? I'm having a little snacky snacky. My kind bar. Thank you for the thumbs up, Ashley. <laughs> hey, April. Welcome. <laughs> I know you're usually the first thumbs up. Hey, Rick. How are you? Rick, this is not a Slim Jim, but it is a healthy snack. Hey, Tara. How are you? I'm drinking CG tea, too, FYI. CG spice tea. When is that woman going to get her computer fixed? I'm doing good. Uh, thanks, Rick. What about the other seven of you? My Sunday's going good. Mmm. Tara, what kind of dip? Chips and dip. Tell me what kind of dip you have. Hey, Stella. I don't know. There's only two thumbs up, and Rick said he was the second. And Ashley was the first. I know, doesn't chip and dip sound good? This is really good, though. Oh, I love ice cream sandwiches. I love how uh, I love how Stella says hi to Ashley before she says hello to me, unless I missed it. CG is trying to get oh she's trying to get a wireless card. Hi Sandra. Thank you April. April was number three. Mmm, this is so good. I think I like the chocolate the best. The chocolate mixed with the uh, almonds. I'm <laughs> your four. <laughs> Ashley's always in lives. 13. Wow. 13 people that don't have anything to do on a Sunday. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube is way smaller than you think. There's like people, there's like people I cannot escape from, no matter how hard I try. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, April. I hope you feel better. Oh my God, that's horrendous. So what's everybody up to besides hanging out on YouTube? I actually got all caught up on my laundry. I'm picking up a little bit so I can do some videos. Chilling now, your day is done. Yeah, it is. It's night, night time where you are. I did this black mask last night and look at it left like a, a, a left a mark on me. I think it pulled out too big of a blackhead or something. What's up with that? Mm, I just got caught up. I had like no underwear. I know when I that that's when I do laundry is when I have no underwear or I put on my last pair that's in my drawer. That's when I'm like, all right, Joanne, you have to do laundry. It's either go to laundry. It's either do laundry or go to Target to buy more underwear. Because trust me, I have enough clothes and I have 33 pairs of leggings. I really don't have to do laundry. Like, I could probably go a month without doing laundry, except for the whole underwear issue. No, tell us more. 
And I keep leaving my underwear places. That's the truth, too. I think I accidentally left half my stuff in Scotland. My favorite bra I left there by accident. Drying, hanging up drying in the bathroom. So, I'm down a bra until I go back, until I go back to visit. Rick is sitting down. <laughs> Mm. Get a cold drink of water, Rick. A cold drink. <laughs> or snap into a Slim Jim, one or the other. <laughs> why, why does my computer, why does my phone say 14 people here and still only three thumbs up? I just don't think this thing is updating. I would think by now I should have more than three thumbs up. I think it's just messing up. Oh, so good news. The good news is the BSA channel got its watch time. So thank you guys so much for supporting that other channel, if you did. And now... <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, now we just have... Now we have to wait for the monetization to kick in. And now I have to work on this channel that I'm on right now. I have to work on the vlog channel. I need to hit the 1,000 subscribers. I'm only at like 760. So I have to get more subscribers on this channel and get the watch time up on this channel. <laughs> so that's why most of my lives will be on this channel and I'm just gonna leave them up so hopefully people will watch the replays. And that can help build the watch time up. Because I just started this channel in October when I did when I did Vlogtober. That's, that, that's when I started the vlog channel. And I've been doing some research on doing some TV reaction videos. And I might be doing some when, when the next season of The Walking Dead starts. Or I might even do the finale. I might do a reaction video to the finale. But I've been talking with somebody and... She gave me some advice on how to do them without losing the monetization. Hey, dog. How are you? Stella, hi. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello to everybody. I love I love when you guys do that in the chat. I love it when everybody chit chats. I was thinking of going live once and just showing the video like on Duders or something and just leaving and just letting everybody just chat. <laughs> you really don't need me here to just chit chat. Coco Shop says hi to everyone. So Rick, what are you doing this afternoon? Did I miss, did you post it? Did I miss your comment as to what you're doing this afternoon? Coco Shop. CG, I'm drinking your tea. I'm drinking the CG Spice Tea, see? Hey, CG's in the house. It's good. What is Rick doing? I don't know. We don't know what Rick's doing. I posted the voting video for the mac and cheese. Oh, I'm going over there. Let me tell you something. You guys totally lost out on not having me compete because you guys are, you should be grateful because I would have totally won because I make the best mac and cheese. Like, I'm not kidding you. Not kidding you at all. Don't forget the I'm in I should already be in. Do I have to say I'm in every single week for the love of God and all that's holy? I think you guys are just too chicken to pull my name because you're going to lose. That's what it is. Just saying. Why do you have to do it? Well, I don't want to do it every time. Just keep me in. Just I'm in. Jesus. I'm doing it on freaking video. I'm in. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Yeah, add me as a forever end because I'm gonna freaking <laughs> I'm gonna get pulled someday. Add me in as a forever end. I will go vote. Like last time I voted and I forgot to type I'm in. I didn't get picked anyways, but. CG, when are you gonna get your when are you gonna get your video fix your computer fixed? When are you gonna get this wireless card? Can't you just get a really long hi Abby? Can't you just get like a really long Ethernet cord? I know, but they only let one they only let one challenger, Ashley. They don't let two challengers in a week. Well, I don't know. Do you even cook? We come as a pair. Okay, I was going to say, do you even cook, Ashley? <laughs> I, I cook. Okay. <laughs> it's for F-U-C-K's sake. YouTube doesn't hate you. YouTube loves you for that. They will just let YouTube, they will let YouTube make the money off that. I can, but what a pain to run the cord every time. I, why can't you just keep it connected? There's no splicer, is there? See, I got shit spliced all over my house for hardwire. My whole entire house, pretty much except for the living room, is hardwired for internet. Because I used to have a home office in the front room. I actually have two Ethernet connections in there. One up in the Lady Cave. I spliced the one going into the YouTube studio. Mr. Plans has one in his cave. We have one in the bedroom. Hey, Bev. How are you? Welcome, welcome to my stream. Oh, duh. I ran everything in my head but couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Hey, Bev. Bev, what are you up to tonight? It's Walking Dead. I got my Walking Dead shirt on. Hi, Kathy. No, I don't have red on mine. You know what, CG? When you got to do it, you got to do it. I know, Bev. Where have you been? It's like, what the heck, Bev? What the heck? Kathy's saying hi to Ashley. If anyone else is new in this stream, please say hi so I can welcome you. Also, if any of you guys are new to Ashley Beauty's channel, head on over and check out her channel. She's my moderator in the Blue Wrench. And uh, check out her lifestyle channel. You may like her. I've been slow sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> I have had problems sleeping the past two nights. I have been like waking up several times throughout the nights. Hey, Carrie. Carrie is in the house, everyone. Yeah, guys, come on. There's 20 of you here, and I got seven thumbs up. So 13 of you are legit crap friends. Just saying. I need a foot rub. Are you offering, Iron Dog? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. And how soon can you get here? I may just go buy a laptop. But you can go live on your phone, can't you? You just can't do the Google Hangout thing. Nope. Aww. <laughs> what did I miss about the baseball chat? Nothing, really. Just that it starts up like the 1st of May. Um, I think we're in. I, just, I still need to find a couple more players. So as far as I know, I think it's going to be a go. Um, still Wednesday nights. Games still start at 6. 6.30. I will be going live on this channel, though, the, the, the vlog channel, so make sure you have the notification bell hit for the vlog channel. 
Yeah, and for those of you who don't or aren't familiar with it, last summer I did live streams at my softball games. I play softball once a week in a women's league. And it's a lot of fun. It's You come in and you just kind of like chit-chat with people while I play. And I come in and talk, you know, in between innings and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Me and Linda will be there with pom pom shaking. Yes, I hope Linda, because I haven't seen I haven't seen Linda that much in the lives since softball ended. I mean, she comes in every once in a while, and she was in during the so the softball chat the other day. <clears throat> you will be modding it like a crackpot. Yeah, but there's really not. It's really not that much modding. I don't think at that time period. You might get one or two, but the, I really haven't had a lot of trolls lately. Mark. <laughs> Mark is excited. Yes. Will Mark have will, will Mark have pom-poms? Be shaking the pom-poms. That's what I want to know. Can't get that. Can't get it out of my mouth. Inquiring minds want to know. Well, this is smashing. Totally smashing. I'm waiting to find out if Mark's going to wave pom-poms. He's a bore. He'll be the waiter and bring us cocktails. Okay. Well, you know what? Everybody has their own talent. I am extremely excited. Carrie, did you see my shirt? I'm extremely excited for Walking Dead. How many more? Carrie, Carrie is the keeper of how many more episodes? Carrie, what do we have? Two more weeks? Two more episodes? Or is it one episode and then the finale? Fill me in because I'm not sure. I'm not quite up on that. Oh, I want to show you guys my new, um, I want to show you guys my new case for my phone too. Oh, it's the, it, Abby, don't get me going. I know. It's been amazing. Especially last week's episode was like we have tonight and then a finale night uh, next week. Okay. I've watched. Hey, you haven't watched it in two years? Oh, in years. Okay. And the finale is probably a little bit longer, right? I would think. So let me show you this. Let me show you this. Um, take a look at this water screen screen protector phone case that I got. I got this at five below for five dollars and the pop socket I already had and look at it matches like it doesn't it look like the pop socket came with it it's just I this is everything and it's it's soft well you know what I heard Carrie is I heard that they're going to do a combined like right after the walking dead the fear is good fear of the walking dead is going to start like right afterwards and then they'll do talking dead afterwards i think because it's it's the april 15th so they're gonna do season finale and then i think fear and then they'll do talking dead probably after that so that'll be fun i need to get groceries too I have like no food in the house, but I'm going to try to wait and go tomorrow. I need to watch Fear. I only saw the very first. Uh, you know what? You got to catch up, Carrie. It is really good. You have to stick through. The first season is kind of a little clunky, I think, but once you get into season two, it really starts to take off. I'm still, I'm still kept playing catch up too. I only have a couple more weeks to do it. So, or I only have like 10 days to do it, right? How many more days? Eight. Uh, 15. I got seven more days. I got a week. I got a week to binge watch a season. Two seasons of Fear. Has anybody ever heard of that tapping stuff that you go like this? I always see people, the ads on Instagram. I have no idea what it means. 
Has anybody ever done that? Tell me if you've heard of tapping. Um, no, not ASMR tapping. That would be this, Rick. That would be... This would be called lo-fi. Lo-fi ASMR. Uh, no, it's... it's oh, God, don't get me started. Don't get me started, Rick. <laughs> Abby, no. Um, yeah, it's for some type of, like, I don't know. I was hoping somebody in here does it because I've always wondered about it. There's people here locally that, like, teach classes on, on tapping. I think it helps with, like, anxiety and panic, and, yeah, I think it does. Certain pressure points, yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. That's why I was asking. I thought maybe somebody in here might be familiar with it. Chinese tapping therapy my mom does, though. Uh, CG, if you're still here, Ashley emailed you the other day. Did you get it? I think Mr. Plans went downstairs to, to try to turn off the heat, and I think he turned it back on again. I don't think he did it right. <laughs> It's going to be like 100 degrees upstairs. I don't know. Google it. Google tapping technique or tap tapping techniques or something like that. Migraines are the worst. Yeah. I hate when I get them. I don't I get them maybe a couple times a year like and people say I get migraines, and then there are people that really get migraines. I know a difference between like a headache or a stress headache, uh, caffeine withdrawal headache, and a full-blown migraine. And I get them maybe a couple of times a year, if that. And when I get them, I have to. I'm down for the count. I'm in the dark. I can't. I can't do anything but just let it pass. It's, it's they're so debilitating. Hey, Anne. I hate when someone posts that on Facebook, LOL, like, if you had a real migraine, you would not be on your phone. Exactly. You would not be on your phone. You would not be near a computer. You would just be literally laying down. And for me, it's cold washcloth on your forehead and like in pitch dark. Yes. Yeah. See, Abby throws up. I don't throw up, but I've heard that people do. Yeah, they're, they're bad. Combo migraines. I not only get the regular ones, but I also get the sinus ones. Oh. Imatrux. Sandra's saying hi to Anne. Everybody's saying hi to Anne. Get in the tub, turn off the lights, and soak my head. That would paralyze me, literally. Holly threw up. Yeah. They're not fun. They are not fun, migraine headaches. And you know what? I honestly get less of that. I get less migraines, and it's weird to say, but I get less migraines since I had my um, the thyroid cancer, the thyroid removed. Um, I don't get as many headaches now, and I think that has to do with, like, the hormone imbalance and the medication that I'm on. The downside is making me jealousy so I can take the meds when I'm at work. Yeah, I look like I have a stroke. Yeah, exactly, yeah. They're not fun at all. And I, people who get real migraines, like, no. And so, like, in the, like Ashley says, if somebody posts on Facebook that they have an, a migraine, they don't because you wouldn't be on your phone <laughs> if you had a migraine, a real one. I actually take medication for them. I used to get, although ever since I found ASMR, I found I get fitter. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Abby. It all has to do with their your brain, you know, your brain sensors and stuff. Yeah. Oh, April's passed out from them. I've never passed out from them. Ah, triggered, triggered by anxiety, yeah. 
Well, thank you, Anne, for liking. You were number 13. If there's anybody else that has yet to thumb up the stream, please do so. I would appreciate it greatly. Helps the channel. It helps the channel the more thumbs up because it tells YouTube that people like it. And, you know, even after the live, after you guys have chatted, pop on back and just leave a comment once the once the video is up. If you, if you can, and just say, yeah, that was a fun live or, you know, thanks for the live or just something like that. Because the more comments underneath videos, that helps too. And Beverly likes, just use number 14. Freaking out here a bit since in five days I'm traveling on a plane with my... Oh, Abby, have fun with that. I don't like traveling alone on a plane. And for you to have a six-month-old with you, have fun. Where are you going? Any place exciting? Evidently, I was a crappy friend, but I just... Well, that Stella, that's because you came in and you, and you were too busy chatting it up with Ashley. And you didn't do your... Your duty to like my stream first. <laughs> but that's okay. Stella! Rick, you're, Stella, you are just cracking Rick up today. Funny enough, though, in a few months, my dad and is moving back here to Georgia. Oh, okay. Oh, I Carrie, I am so jealous that you work for Cinnabon. I can't I can't tell you. You know what? I would love to come home covered with icing from Cinnabon. <laughs> that icing is like the Best on a cinnamon bun. Oh, so good. You must smell like cinnamon and sugar when you come home, too. Yeah, I was going to say your cats love you. <laughs> I remember when I was a teenager, My one of my first jobs was I worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I would come home smelling head to toe like original recipe Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Tell us, like, I would weigh 500 pounds. I almost can smell cinnamon buns. <laughs> my aunt is ready to pop her son, and she hasn't met my daughter yet, so we are traveling to Massachusetts to see her. Oh, that'll be fun. and That'll be fun, Abby. Well, I wish you well traveling with a six-month-old on a plane. Yeah, they smell so good when they're baking. I, I like to sometimes... Uh, make tea and just like put cinnamon in it and then just kind of like heat it, simmer it on the stove just to like smell cinnamon through the house. Yeah, take a Xanax. <laughs> Pop a couple. <laughs> Why not? Ah, oh, cinnamon in my coffee grounds. That's good. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, when I was traveling back from Scotland and I had a layover in, was it JFK, Newark? I can't remember. They had one of those cinnamon bun places and it took every ounce of me not to go get one. It smelled so good. I had one gotten a dinner and I came back and I was sitting down at one of those tables where you can like charge your computer and charge your phone and stuff like that. And it was right behind me and I just kept on looking at it and I was like, no, Joanne, you don't need one, you don't need one, you don't need one. And I, I didn't, I was a good girl. Next time though, I think I am gonna get it. Actually, they have they have one of those, um, I don't know if it's, I think it's called Cinnamon Bun, Cin Cinnabon, but I think they have one in my mall in the, the big mall that's near me. And they have this place, I don't know if it's a na national chain, is it a, do you guys know if it's a national chain, the Aunt Annie's Pretzels? Mm, yeah, the Aunt Annie's Pretzels, because you can get a cinnamon sugar pretzel and they give you like cream cheese to dip it in. Oh, when I wanna go on a gluten binge, let me tell you, that is satisfying. 
Aunt Annie's pretzels are freaking amazing. Yes, let's see. Stella agrees. So true. They're amazing. And then you can get like plain ones. You can get ones with a little bit of salt on it. And then they have like cheese dip. Oh. The pretzel bites with cheese. Yes, the cheese. I get the big one, the big long honking one and just... I'm literally going to have a gluten reaction just talking about gluten. I don't know if that's possible or not, but... Yeah. I have been doing really, really bad staying away from gluten. I really, this tax season, I've been kind of going, I guess you want to say off the wagon with my new regime stuff, but I haven't. The news is, is that I'm still losing weight. So it's kind of weird because it's making me like, well, I don't have to be that strict now because I'm still losing weight. Um, I mean, not a ton of weight. It's just, it's, it's going down, you know, a little bit by little bit by little bit, like really slow. So I've been enjoying things that I normally like, real pasta. I've been enjoying, you know, pizza and just stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm very cautious of what I eat. So it's like if I have something for breakfast that's like full of gluten, I, I won't have something for like lunch and dinner too. I try to, um, you know, I try to counteract it some. I know I love pizza. <laughs> Like, I am dying for a garlic pizza right now. That's, like, my latest thing that I've been, like, craving is this place, a uh, local place here called Twin Trees. And they make this really good, like, garlic pizza. It's really thin, and it's just, mm, it's so good. I so want to have garlic pizza tonight. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that happen, though. Um... I do have a rea yeah, both Abby. I have a um I were I don't know if you saw any of my any of my new regime videos on my main channel, but I have been working with a nutritionist for about a year. It started last year, la or it started when did it start? I don't know. It's it's been over a year. And um she did she looked at my blood work and did some testing and stuff and found that I have a reaction to gluten. I uh, I'm not I'm gluten intolerant. I'm just I'm not celiac. I have a reaction to cow dairy and which naturally for weight loss it's uh best if you stay away from those things and kind of use alternatives and it's not necessarily have gluten-free pasta instead of regular pasta. It's like, don't have pasta, have greens and protein. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I do get a reaction to it. I literally will start, the same thing with, um, sometimes I'll get headaches, but most of the time it's sinus and I'll get like a, a um, clearing. Like, okay, let me ask you this. Anybody in here, Let's talk about the symptoms of, let's talk about the symptoms of food allergies, okay? And people think it's regular allergies, like allergic to stuff that's in their environment. But if you like sneeze, if you are like always clearing your throat, if you're constantly going, <clears throat> <clears throat> so that's why you'll, you probably notice in a lot of my lives lately that I might be snuffing a lot and I might be clearing my throat a lot. And that's because I'm having... A reaction to the stuff that I'm eating that I shouldn't be eating um, but if you have those kind of things what itchy watery eyes a, a, a lot of times it's an actual food allergy it's not an allergic reaction to like pollen and stuff like that unless you've actually been tested you know and they say you're allergic to pollen it's probably a food allergy so that's what she did she tested all my blood and stuff like that and put me on supplements and so that's why I've been as gluten free as possible for a long time. My son lost over 40 pounds before he could not have anything with gluten in it. Yeah, it's just trying to switch to more foods that are actually cooked and prepared like you prepare your own foods. Um, it's a, such a much better option than buying things that are processed. What was the ice cream that you had the other night? Um, it is called So Delish, Stella. It's the So Delish brand, and it is a cashew. Um, it's made from cashew milk. 
basically. It's cashew milk. Um, I don't know. It depends on what you consider a good food, Carrie. Uh, it was the salted caramel cluster or something like that. But I, I get the So Delish, the French vanilla yogurt. It's a coconut yogurt. So it's, again, non-dairy. That's really good. I use the So Delish coconut creamer, French vanilla flavored, for my coffee. They're just making, like, slightly different choices to try to remove as much cow dairy as possible so that that way when I want to have a slice of pizza, it's not going to end me because I haven't had you know, the, the, the dairy in my, I haven't had the dairy on my cereal or the dairy on, in my coffee, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's the little tub of it. It's like $4.99, but it is, um, Abby, I have a video on that. <laughs> I can explain it to you in a couple of seconds, but, or I can explain it to you in a few minutes, but I do have a, on my other channel, I do have a whole video on why cow dairy is bad. Basically, cow's milk was meant to be consumed by a calf that gains 65 pounds in three weeks, okay? It is made to get its person that's drinking it to, to gain weight. Uh, most dairy farms put, put a ton of chemicals into their cows and keep them pregnant all the time with all these hormones so that they'll continue to produce milk. And those hormones are being transferred into your body. So we are not meant, as human beings, we are not meant to drink cow dairy. We're meant to drink our own mother's milk. I'm not trying to be disgusting or anything. Um, and our bodies are, it's, it's hard to digest. It causes a lot of cancers. Um, it causes a lot of infections in bodies that people don't aren't aware of. But like I said, I do have a whole video on that if you want to go search for it. Cow dairy, just search cow dairy on my main channel. You'll be able to find it. Um, a better option is uh, goat's milk or because goat's milk is easier to digest for our system. Now, there are some people who can digest cow dairy who don't have problems with it. Those people are more likely to have ancestors in their past history that have morphed in, um, through, gen uh, through genetics, through working on dairy farms and consuming dairy, have built up the right abilities to be able to actually digest it. That makes me feel like a cow. Yeah, Ashley and Bev are having a fun fun time here while I'm trying to discuss the seriousness of how bad cow dairy is. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love a, I love a good... I, I Don't get me wrong. I love it too. But honestly, Ashley, I have not had a glass of milk and I can't tell you how long. I would rather be healthier and have almond milk and save my dairy for like cheese on a pizza or if I really wanted some ice cream, not just drinking a thing of milk. Yeah, it could be. It, if you know if your family history where they were on dairy farms, you, you may not have an issue with it. But you should do your research for, I mean, I, I should recommend all you guys do your research on cow dairy. Especially the stuff, now here's the thing, there are, if you can get cow dairy from a cow that was fed grass and then is not shot up with hormones, that is a lot better for you than dairy that isn't. So when you see me using butter in some of my videos, you, or, and, or I haul it at Aldi's, I haul carry gold butter, and that is made from grass fed, uh, grass, uh, grass -fed cows. So that I actually don't have a problem digesting. Yeah, grass-fed is the best. Because otherwise, if, it's, if they, and you're like, well, what do they eat if they don't eat grass? You, most of you probably don't know it, but they're actually fed genetically modified corn that fattens them up and that's not good for you. Corn is horrible for you, but I won't even go into that. Yeah, Kerrygold butter, almond milk. Yeah, I love Kerrygold. Love it. And I buy the grass-fed beef. Yes, we have a ton of red, uh, all of my red meat. The majority of my red meat is grass-fed. 
either at Aldi's or at Wegmans. Yeah. They're just real simple changes to make. But like I said, I haven't been 100% on my plan. And one of the reasons is, and I don't know if I've actually mentioned this on any of my lives, but my wall oven is broken. <laughs> So I have no oven, so it kind of limit it kind of limits the amount of cooking that I can do. I have to do all stovetop cooking right now until I get a chance to have somebody get somebody in here to look at it. So we've been doing a lot of to, um, to goes. Ashley, I almost said takeaways. <laughs> Aldi is incredible for their grass fed beef. We actually got a new bigger. Oh, did you really? I know I almost said takeaway because that's what they call it in Scotland. They call them takeaways instead of to go. <laughs> yeah, I do the majority of my shopping. I, I do a lot of the fresh vegetables and stuff I'll get from Wegmans, but everything else, the, my dairy, my, um, my, my eggs, my cage free eggs, that kind of stuff. I get that all at Aldi's. My coffee, uh, K cups and all that stuff. So much cheaper. It is, it is. It is so much cheaper. I know. I don't know. I if you have an Aldi near you, <clears throat> if you have an Aldi near you, you you really need to go and compare prices, try the products. There are so many good products that they have uh, from Aldi's, and you can save so much money. I buy these. I buy these containers of frozen little mini. I think they're called um, salad shrimps like little teeny mini shrimps that are like you literally put them in a you pan serum. You just sear them in a little bit of olive oil for like two, three minutes and then take them out and you can just throw them on a salad. You can put them in a, a make a sauce with them. They're so good and it's cheap. Hi, Tanya. You have, oh, Lildy. Apparently Aldi is beating prices. Like, yeah, they are. Aldi is, yeah, it is. I'm telling you. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, you can take your money and get, oh, see, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know you can get double your money back at Aldi's. That's great. That's a, that's a great customer service, great marketing tool, you know? Yeah. Well, that's good. Now I can put hashtag Aldi talk. I can do a tag for Aldi talk in this live now. Yeah. But Abby, I do have, if you look, I think there's a playlist that's like my new regime videos. I think I have two or three videos on all that kind of stuff. I know, that would be fun. That would be so fun. And you know what? When the next time I visit, Ashley, we are going shopping in Aldi's. Like I will point out, I want to see the difference in what you have and what I have. And I will tell you, yeah, I'll show you the good stuff. If you have, if you have the same products. And I bet you you'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe how cheap this stuff is. I bought chicken salad once that was bad. I could get another and a, and a refund or double my money. Wow, that's pretty cool. I always get, I get like my, um, I get my hummus there. Like they have hummus dirt cheap there, all different kinds of hummus. They have the grass fed cheddar, which is the kind of cheese that I usually buy is grass fed white cheddar cheese. Um, they have the Kerrygold butter under $3 US. That's cheap for carry gold. Yeah. Good prices, Aldi's. You're doing good. See, I'm not a fan of the garlic. Hum I just like the pine, the, the pine nut hummus or the roasted red pepper hummus. It's so good. Oh, Carrie, I was just going to mention that. I got by accident an olive tapenade one from Trader Joe's and I almost gagged. I am not a fan of olives. And let me tell you, I threw it right out. <laughs> I let Mr. Plans t try it. And I go, if you don't, if you don't like it, I'm tossing it. I'm not even wasting room in my, I, I thought it was the pine nut from Trader Joe's and they had a very similar color container and I just picked the wrong one up. I hate when I do that. Oh, I don't like olives at all. No. Mm, no. Sorry, Carrie. I'm not a fan of olives. Not even in drinks. Not even... 
yeah, no, no olives for me. Oh, I know I was going to ask Ashley, Ashley, what was the type of cheese we had in that huge cheese ball that I, that when we went to that one restaurant, what was the type of cheese that was? Bye, Kathy. Thank you for coming. Do you remember? Get the spelling. Yeah. If you guys haven't watched it on this channel, there's a bunch of vlogs of when I went to Scotland, and one of them has a picture, I think, of uh, me, Ashley, and her mom and dad, Cam Camembert. Oh, it was so good. And there's a picture and there's a video clip of this big glob of cheese that was just, oh, it was amazing. Hi, Kelly. How are you? We had it with like this like spicy like marmalade type stuff. Yeah, it was literally just a bowl of cheese. It was so good. And there was like uh, really hard like bread type stuff that you could like dip it in, like chip type stuff. Oh my God. <clears throat> now, is that something that you can buy like at the store? Is that, st I wonder, I yeah, but can we just buy it at the store and cook it? Let's just buy it at the store and cook it. I bet you we could get double the cheese. <laughs> I don't know. That That's what I wanted to look like. Do they have... Does anybody know if they have camembert cheese in, in the U.S.? Like, I'm not meaning to be stupid, but I've never heard of it before. I don't know, because I've never heard of it. It looks like brie. Okay, thank you, Happy. Carrie's going to Google it. Well, here's the thing. It's because you don't know, like, because there's some things, like, I remember Ashley asking me, like, a certain kind of creamer that I like so that she could have it at the house, like, for my coffee. But, like, I can't, we can't get it in the U.S. And, uh, but she couldn't get it there. They don't sell that. So they're like, there's, like, certain things that you can buy, but it's just... You can, oh, I don't, I want the same thing. Why can't we get that cheese here? I don't have a Whole Foods near me. I'm going to have to look. I'm going to Google the name. Ashley, text me the name. When I get off here, I'm going to Google it and Google Syracuse and see if I can find, I have a new, I have a new focus. I have a new focus in life. It is so good to sell cheese. That's gonna. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna sell bowls of cheese. That would be a great idea for a restaurant. Literally, just bowls of different cheese to dip in. You could be. We could call it like what? I don't know. The dipping station or something like that. <laughs> it would be like the melting pot, except for just like all different kinds of cheeses all the time. Except for no real food, just cheese. Just bowls of cheese. JP cheese. <laughs> JP, the person who can't have cow dairy or shouldn't have cow dairy, is going to open a, a restaurant that sells just cheese. Well, what about the restaurants that sells just um, different things with cereal? I really don't. I, I don't have a lot of cheese, no. Yeah. <clears throat> so good. I, I don't have a lot of cheese, Kelly. If I do have cheese, it's normally grass-fed or I'm off the wagon like I am now and just eat chunks of cheese and have pizza and stuff. It was literally a $2,000 calorie. I know, but we did a lot of walking that day. So I, I was shocked that I didn't gain as much weight as I did on my trip. My, on my trip. I'm shocked. But we did do a lot of walking. For all the snacks and stuff we had. All the snacking and stuff. Like all the candy. and Because I was trying like every single candy that they had there and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, we were walking a lot of places. Yeah. Plus like touring, you know, touring cities and stuff like that. We walked a ton. Like my Fit was going off. My Fitbit was going off its rocker. Totally. So the rear camera bear is not available in the U.S. They have one similar that's, that is called that, but they are just versions. Hi, Ahmad. Um, 
why why is that not available this is what i want to know why can we not get this cheese in the u.s can i smuggle it can i get it smuggled out tanya saying hi to ashley illegal why because it's 2,000 pounds because it's 2,000 calories why is it illegal why oh so I cannot so I, in other words I would not be able to smuggle anything back when I come over <laughs> ma'am what's that underneath your coat uh it's just some cheese officer they're gonna put me in the stockade they'll put me in the dungeons <laughs> what about state fairs i don't know I, this is the first i'm hearing that i cannot get this cheese it's made in france i guess it's the same rules as trying to bring fruits and things from countries it gets shipped here jp <sighs> well i'm gonna have to get my fill can you please write that down on our to-do list can you please write that down on our grocery list that Either we're going to go someplace and get it, or we will buy it at the store and make it ourselves. You found something but that was dated 2013. I, add it to our Trello board, please do. Yes, we're planning our, um, we're planning our, our food and our travels for my next trip out. I definitely want more of the cheese. I'm shocked that I can't get, that we can't get it here, though. That's horrible. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, I have to say. Come on, get it together, the U.S., or get it together, France. Now, watch. Now this, ch this, this video will get deleted. Can you say how many days you will be gone? Mm, no, I'd rather not. I need a food list for every meal. <laughs> yeah. You know what this sounds like? This is what Janine does. I don't know if Janine's here, but this is what Janine does for Girls Camping Weekend. We legit have to plan out every single day, every single food item that we're going to eat. Nancy Hudson Valley Camembert. Okay, I'll have to check that out. According to an uncle, I am reading Why Not? Wow, the phrase the box sums it up. I love the Are you going to rate to go more towards summer? Um, possibly, Carrie. Yeah. Border security show. <laughs> I can see now. I'm joining now stops for cheese. I actually got pulled aside on the way home. I actually got pulled aside for extra um, searching. I got pulled aside. They're like, you got picked to be searched extra. And they actually had to like dust me off. They had to like dust my face and swab and dust my shoes. And they opened up my case and dusted it and did all these like little sticky things and ran tests and stuff. So I was delayed like an extra 10 minutes getting on my plane. Yeah, they dusted a candle that Ashley was carrying in her carry-on for cocaine. They dusted it. She, she's a she's a drug runner. Wowers. I know. It was it was kind of scary actually. You know, it's you know, in all joking, it's kind of funny. Yeah. But you've been through it before. I hadn't been through that before. So when you're coming and going from a foreign country and they're stopping you and asking you questions and stuff like that, you're like, you do get nervous. Like, at least I did. Yeah, I, I was, I kind of actually was freaking out. Like, oh my God, not that there's anything in there. I mean, don't take my crunchy bars away from me. Don't take my Smarties away from me. That's what I had packed inside my backpack, you know. You're bringing formula on the plane. Oh, yeah, Exactly. Reminds me of an I Love Lucy where Lucy tries to disguise her cheese as a baby on a flight. <laughs> I never knew that. That's funny. But they do have signs about, you know, no bringing food in, no fruits and vegetables. Like, you could, like I can't bring fruits and vegetables from, from Scotland home to the U.S. Like, they won't let you in with that. But they did let me in with candy. They did let me in with, like, the guy's like, oh, Smarties are my favorite. I had, like, 12 packs of Smarties in my backpack. My 82-year-old mom got stopped, and it was so scary for her. Oh, my God, really? 
I'll have to watch it. I'll have to. I like, I love I Love Lucy. She's, she's hysterical. Hysterical. Yeah, so, but at least this time when I go, at least I know, like, I'm familiar with the airports. I'm a Philly, I'm a, a familiar with the, like, the procedures that you have to go through. You are not allowed. Oh, man. See, I would be. I will feel. I don't know if it'll be any easier for me, but I will feel more comfortable, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they were. They were, weren't they, Carrie? Because it is very different flying internationally than it is fly flying domestically around the United States. I'll tell you that because I've flown to California before. And, you know, getting in and out of, like, okay, so here's the thing. Explain to me this. I came back and I was in, what, Newark? I was in Newark and they made me go to this one area, take my luggage that was on the plane, bring it right around the corner and give it to somebody else so that it could get on the Syracuse flight. They didn't even ask me if it was my luggage. Like anybody could have picked up any bag and given it to this guy and they would have scanned it and put it on the next flight, wherever it needs to go. Why am I doing the work of the air, the airline people's? That's their work. They should be able to take the stuff off and be able to put it. There was, we, we, it didn't go through getting checked. It didn't go through any of that stuff. The bag went through, but I had to go through TSA again at, in Newark. When I came back home, it's, it's crazy. Did you feel you had enough room for your seat? I did Kelly. Uh, I flew United both ways and I did not get any upgraded seats or anything like that. And I was fairly comfortable. And I have to tell you that I am, I mean, I'm not a tiny person. I'm a pretty big person. I'm big boned. I have, um, long legs. So I'm always worried about leg room because I have, I do have really, really long legs and I was fine. I am, I'm not, I'm not a supermodel. Okay. So I'm not supermodel size. I am a big girl. I am big. I'm okay with that, but I'm, I do have long legs. So the United flights, I'm a little bit cons I, That's not the point. I think everybody else understands. Um, I'm worried about the Delta flight because um, I think I'm flying Delta next time or somebody that's flying for Delta and I'm not sure how those planes are. So we'll find out. I'm not getting any upgraded seats though. Coming home from Hawaii, a couple, we were trying to get a bag of oranges home. They were told no. We watched this couple eat 12 oranges so they wouldn't get put in the trash. That's funny. <laughs> it's funny, Kelly. Can you imagine that? You know what? I would have done it though. If they would have told me, I'm sorry, Joanne, but we, you cannot bring these crunchies home with you. I would have sat right there in the doorway of the plane saying, you can't leave until I shove all these crunchies down my throat. And I'd be like, y'all don't fly Spirit Airlines. You can get cheap flights, but they nickel and dime you everything. You have to pay for your seats and only bring one personal item and you have to, yeah, I know. Pay to check your bags. Yeah. That's, that's the one thing I've learned too. When you're searching online for flights, you have to watch out because you're going to find really, really good deals on flights, but those deals you're going to have to pay for getting your, um, you're going to have to pay to get, pick your seat. But here's the thing. What I found, what I found out is that if you don't, if you don't pick your seat, you don't have to pay to pick your seat. If you wait until you go to the airport, they will give you, they will assign you a seat for free. It's only if you wish to choose your seat, do you have to pay for it. That I did find out. So you don't need to pay an extra 20, 30 bucks. Only if you want to be picky and actually pick your seat. Otherwise, you just go to the airport when you check in. They say, oh, we have this seat, this seat, this seat. And then you just take whatever seat they have available.
and I did find out too, which is um, is my backpack is considered a personal item. So I have a backpack and a rolling carry-on that I usually bring on the plane. So that's kind of good too. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's going on the lap. She's an infant. Yeah, I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of old Ferris wheels. Like, I'll do, like, roller coasters and, you know, crazy type of stuff like that. But you get me on a Ferris wheel that stops on top. Thank you, Ashley. What's this? What did he say? I missed him. I don't like landing. I don't mind taking off on an airplane, but I, I'm a little bit anxious when we land, but that's it. You can't even be on a ladder. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? There was one time I was actually stuck up on the top of a Ferris wheel for a little bit at um, in an old amusement park that's not in existence anymore here. And I think ever since then, I, especially if it's an old Ferris wheel, I mean, I remember going to this place called Enchanted Forest in the Adirondacks with my kids when they were little, and they would beg me to go on the Ferris wheel, and I did. I actually would go on the Ferris wheel with them, but I would literally have my eyes closed the whole time, like holding on to them for dear life, thinking, oh my God, we're going to fall, we're going to fall. And um, there were some, some of the times I was actually crying, <laughs> going on the Ferris wheel, like crying until the ride was over with. <laughs> so... I try to get, like, if I go with, like, my sister, I would try to get my sister to take them on the Ferris wheel because that's just one I just can't. And if you get those double ones, those Ferris wheels that go, that have two Ferris wheels that then start spinning around, forget about it. Not going to happen. No thanks. Yep. Oh, but I'm mad. I would have been angry. So angry. Can't do a Ferris wheel. I know. All right, well, listen, I am going to head off here. I've been on an hour. My God, it's it's gone really fast. So um, thank you so much for hanging out here with me this afternoon. If you have yet to give me a thumbs up, please consider doing so when you leave the live because I could use a few more likes on this video. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going live again. I was thinking about doing a uh, makeup, play with my new makeup that I got from Alta. I can't live stream The Walking Dead now. So I may do that some morning. So make sure you have the notification bell hit uh, for this channel. And yeah, come back and leave a comment after it gets up here, after it renders and comes back up. I would appreciate it, guys. Uh, have a great night, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.